let's take another example over here we have perpendicular forces acting on the plane o c e a okay so these forces are perpendicular to the plane and they are acting on this plane as you would realize that all these forces are parallel to each other right they are not in the same plane these are not coplanar system of forces these are parallel system of forces so it is given to us that vertical forces perpendicular to the plane are acting as shown we have to find the resultant and its position so we have seen that whenever we have a force couple system and if force and couple are perpendicular to each other we can find a single resultant and what are these three cases the three cases are when they are concurrent when they are coplanar or when they are parallel okay we have already seen how to find resultant of concurrent to find the resultant of coplanar we have just seen the previous question okay how to go about it and now we are going to see how to find the resultant of a parallel system of force since this is a parallel system of force all these are parallel to each other so obviously we have to follow two steps step 1 is to reduce this system of force into a force couple system and after that we have to reduce that force couple system into a single force system so my step 1 would be reduction to force couple system okay reduction to force couple system so what do we have to find out we have to find out our r and we have to find out our mr okay so let us take any point about which we are going to translate this system of force okay i prefer that we take this point okay so let us copy this and we are going to paste it over here okay let's get rid of this mr and r let us choose our coordinate axis like this okay let us take this as the origin because we are going to find the moment about this point we are going to translate this force to this point we are going to translate this force to this point and this force to this point obviously this is already there and the moment of this force is going to be zero so let us assume that this this is my x direction okay i am going to assume this is my z direction z or z and i am going to assume this is my x direction oh y direction okay it is given that these are vertical forces so we are going to assume this is our y direction okay so let us give these forces some name this i call as f1 this i call as f2 this would be f3 this would be f four so what is f1 over here your f1 is look your y is in this direction right so f1 is in this direction so it is going to be minus of j minus 180 j okay similarly your f2 is going to be minus 54 j it is also in this direction all these are parallel forces okay so they are going to have the same point of action which is minus j not the same point of action rather the same line of action okay f3 is going to be minus 36 newtons or minus 36 j and f4 is going to be